Vice President Al Gore, well, you will go if you will take off from Davos today. And we will, by the end of the presentation, run a forecast how close we could get if we might travel with the wind. Where you would like to go? I want to go home to Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> this is mean. Ignaz, uh, Onik. Uh, yeah, there you are. Now, what I will be trying to do today very quickly is try to think about what is this Irocene epoch. And when we talk about also the environment in terms of ecology, we sometimes forgot about a social ecology and the mental ecology. This means what we'll be trying to talk today is articulate all this ecology of practice and try to see if we somehow can get on board of something who might bring us back safe at home in this very thin layer. Today, what we will try to think is how we could float up into the air. Don't forget that we are all floating on something which is called spaceship Earth at 108,000 kilometers per hour. Now, we know also that we know how to float in the water, but sometimes we forgot that also we can float up into the air with the air, and that's the journey we will try to take you. This means the way how we float is no solar panel, no battery, no hot air in a burner balloon, no helium, no engine, no fossil fuel, no hydrogen. What I've been asking to you, if you go back to Tennessee, which type of vehicle will be taking you without using any of these resources? What is the size of the vehicle? What is the color of the vehicle? And at which altitude you will be flying to being able to get back safe at home? And can we do it? Does it mean I will invite you also during these next days, I think so I stay here until Friday, I brought back something here with me. Is this something will carry you back home? Is this the right size and which color is inside here? If it's a sunny day and today was the best perfect condition, we will get up into the air without any of this. That's the journey. And then we will see how during the last 14 years we have been trying to build this ecology of practice and we'll be touching one by one. Can we build it out of this vehicle who bring us back home? Can we reverse the realization of planetary protection we apply to other planets? Yes or no? Can somebody challenge me? Do you think so I can build a vehicle with this who can fly for so long? How many miles might be back at Tennessee? No? no? Okay. I think so, you're right. Can I get myself up into the air, save with a certification of FAA? Maybe not. But what I'm interested in here is how this can be built. And what is the community who might start to think as how we could be floating today again on planet Earth? We have been in 21 countries and 21 cities around the world. It's something which is called Museo Solar. We have been from Cuba, which have a completely different understanding and the use of a plastic bag that any other countries also have. What happened is very simple. We just taped them together. It became a kind of global map, right? You can see color. And what is happening, very simple, the sun come up inside this envelope. It warm up the air, which is inside maybe this room, and the things float up into the air. Very simple. That's something which somehow is so simple when I was at NASA 2009 and I talked with astronauts who have landed in the moon, they say, wait a minute, that's not possible. That's not possible, right? Bear with me from here, and I think so, today was joking also, can we build maybe a flying city? What is the size? He's always thinking about going to, from A to B, but what about if to B is also the destination of our journey? Does it mean we will try to go there? Here's a backpack. Does this backpack will be able to carry me and which color it might be the best? And there is a small manual inside which say, okay, if it is transparent, how much it carry? If it's white, how much will it carry? If it's black, how much will it be carrying you? And it starts to get a little bit more complicated, but this is a kind of a manual that we hopefully we will share with you, Red Cross, we are working with them and hopefully distribute. Now this journey is not about us being only up in the air. It's about also getting other friends. What we are trying to do and what is inside here, the backpack, is all these kind of sensory devices to learn a little bit how we can be in the air with other species. It's recognized that we are together with others. And there are many other species which also have been in the air for quite some long time. And this means we work here with Brian Hosking, one of the leading meteorologists, together with Ludovic Hilaria and many hackathons. And we hack what we can sense and how we can move from one place to the other one. Then many of the time we start to think about, OK, let's take off, how far we can go. What we do usually is, in, is invite people to guess how far when we took off one to one of these sculptures. People are invited to put how long it could travel. What it happened when it's black, usually when it's, the sun is gone, the sculpture goes down to the air. This means you will not never make it at Tennessee. Now what has happened when it's mirror on the top and transparent on the bottom, it pick up the energy infrared radiation from the Earth. 
And this means you can have a very long journey, day and night, which is quite different. Now we maybe start to learn that black maybe will not take us too long, that maybe we have to change the color. And by changing the color, we start to send other energy. Now, think about something. Oh, many people talk about a battery. Now think that the Earth becomes the battery, because it's exactly what happened here. When the sculpture come down, pick up the infrared radiation, the battery is a rock, which is called Earth, floating in space. And the sculpture, they dance, is a choreography between the Earth and the Sun. It's a completely radical way of thinking of how we could be on board of Spaceship Earth. With MIT, this is where we are getting, and we will learn also that the air and the jet stream not always go in the same direction. In this case, go from west to east, and the other case, in the blue, go completely other direction. You might need to learn how to navigate it. If anybody is with a virtual reality 3D, I would love to be in a balloon and try to see how the jet stream go in different directions and be able to tackle where I go. The journey we will be doing is not a fossil fuel journey, it's a straight line like an aeroplane. Well, it's a dance, it's a choreography. And then if you can keep scaling up, what about a cloud city? What about if you get 300 meter, 1.2 miles diameter? And how much is the difference of temperature you need to be between the inside and the outside to get up into the air? This means from the last 14 years we have to be rehearsing also how much is the lightweight structure that you need to be up into this sculpture to being able to float. And the Hamburger Bahnhof and other situation. This, I mean, this is one of the things also. Means again here, I'm asking you which vehicle you will pick to go back home. This was transparent and black in the inside. This means another type of coloration, another type of things. Well, well, this is the white sand. It's the first place where the Anthropocene also might have started. It's the first place where the atomic bomb had been exploded. And it's the first place also that we have thought it might be maybe the beginning of the Eocene if we relate differently with the Earth. We break a worldwide record for the first time a human had been carry up into the air without burning fossil fuel from beginning to end for over three hours. Now, since it was white, even two persons were carrying up into the air, not only one. The substrate is quite fundamental and quite important. Now we will run the prediction in the last five minutes. Davos, Ignaz is the green point, and we are going to Nashville. What you will see, the first trajectory is today, tomorrow, and so on, the next uh, seven days. Uh, this is a collaboration with MIT. I'm in residence since three years, and this took us a year and a half to develop. So it was quite an effort, and we are presenting for the first time today with you. What quite important thing, we are flying at 10 kilometers high. Now, you can activate it also, the up and down, but let's fix it at 10, see how, how far we can get. There we are. Okay, the red doesn't look like so bad. The red is tomorrow, much better to take off tomorrow. You can see here, zero, four days, eight days, 12 days, 16 days. Whoa, amazing. You got it. If you take off tomorrow, just only carry by the jet stream within 228 kilometers close to home. Wow, I think it's quite amazing.